everybody, it's your boy SB is the track star. And welcome back to another video tutorial. Dance a video tutorial more than say. I do a cover for the rhythm I make yesterday named Duffer Bug. Or the Duffer Bug rhythm. So I'll just kind of walk through the whole process of how to create your know, artwork and all of them things, right? So typically, I like go with the theme of the rhythm for the cover art, you know what I mean? So like me have a rhythm writer so named Grace Skies. And if you look upon the um the thumbnail or not the thumbnail but the artwork, so that one didn't load, I'll just use a different one. I don't want to make it not load though, but fuck it. So like this, the X series rhythm, you know what I mean? I have a X series beamer in the in the artwork. And the, the track is very Tropical, you know and I mean, like a party vibe to the track. So, I have it in a like a party atmosphere. And the, the trick was just to get it for blend right, blend the right way. So, originally, the BMW never did do dip on top of the X like that. But during the creative process, I kind of just change it. So, what kind of the same approach say, to this artwork? Yeah. So, I'll go create new. Um, when I do artwork, especially for music, the, the stores them only accept 3000 by 3000. Me used to make my artwork 1280 by 720, but I kind of find out the official album artwork nowadays anyway is 3000 by 3000. So how we do that, boom, create. Well, coming as now we have a blank canvas. Normal would I just insert a new layer and then get a color on top of the new layer, right? So like I said, the theme for your rhythm is the offer bag. So I like the start I'm have with the red background. What I'm going to do is insert a, a shadow on it. You know I mean? As I can see around the edge, you have this darkness come in. So I'll insert a shadow, but we'll edit it a little bit. We'll make it a little bit bigger. So we'll increase the size. You know I mean? Now you can see around the edge, it start get a little bit darker. So that's fine for me. That's cool. No need to go and get a duffel bag because, like I said, rhythm name, duffel bag. So, keeping with the theme, I'll go and find a, a duffel bag. Most of my art, I get the image them from Google, so I'll just type, I'll type Gucci duffel bag. Image. All right, so. One thing where you want, right? When you use any type of image, you always when you're done, you put PNG at the end. And the reason being that with a PNG file, as you can see, the background is transparent. You know what I mean? So you nah, see nothing in the background. It might look like it have a white background, but watch when I drag it in a in a FL, not FL, in a um, Photoshop and just drop it. Notice we have a blank. Background. No, I'm not use this image because it kind of have too much of going. But just really want a duffel box. So I'll go back and see if I can find a much better or a cleaner image than that one. So this one good, but this is not a PNG though. Same thing with that. Same thing again. And then sometimes you might find one and you might not find a PNG and you have to cut out the image. That might be the case with this. We might have to end up cut out an image, but I'm going to go and try and see if we can find a bug first. I, mean, I see a lot of my like, but I don't see nothing with the, the background transparent. So let me just go back and change this. I'll go just go duffel bug, PNG, and see. That's the same one I would just did have. All right, so that the one didn't really have nothing, no background. All right, so here goes the Supreme one right there. So, so we're gonna save as. Boom. So we have one of our Supreme. So let's try, I'll type LV. No for bug. All right, we have another one. So we'll go save image. What I'm going to do is I'll go back for the Gucci one. I can just figure out a way how I can use it. 
So this was it. So I'll just go right click, save image, which we already did have it. So that was kind of my bad. This is a nice picture right here. I'm mean, gonna think with a mm -hmm. like I wanna just always save this. Then I'll go in my image folder I'm have from a computer and type in the word cash or money because it'll kind of create a scenery. So I'm gonna just type cash and then Alright, so we have data. But we don't really like that because we don't have too much and nothing with no PNG. So let's go. Right click, opening a new window, and then we don't type money this time around. And we'll come back in. Yes, the same way, we'll type money PNG. So we have a lot of things popping up. So the reason I'm going to do that is because we'll incorporate some type of money into the into the the artwork so let's drag in the image them i will just download so i have the gucci bag and right now we just all drop them and then we edit later so i have the gucci I have the other one here so I have the louis vuitton bag and we have the supreme bag You can see how the Supreme bag kind of have a, a white glow around it. I might have to get rid of that. So let's start work with the with this black one. So go back to the eraser, right? Click, click magic eraser, rasterize it. Then delete the background. Now, this only a work because this is a white background is a pretty high resolution high quality picture you know what i mean so you know really require that much work sometimes you might click and if you look down towards the bottom you can see say a lot of the the bug is still there or a lot of the picture is still there so that's where i'm going now with the pen tool create a little curve and then come all the way down create another curve now we kind of just trace the outline for the bag. I don't really want to get it too perfect, you know what I mean? It's just an artwork now. And then I'm going to trip about if it don't come out right. So let's create some nice looking smooth line. Pen tool is a very tricky thing for you use inside of um, Photoshop. So I'm not going to even lie and say, yeah, easy thing. But if you spend time with it, like I'm spend time with it, and me still not perfect it yet, but you will learn a lot. So let's just get rid of a mix selection and then cut out all of that. So now we have a, a much smoother thing, you know what I mean? So we don't go control T, make this a little bit smaller. I seem as if it blend more with the photo. Let's go down a little bit more, press enter, right click, blending options. And in the blending options, I can just add like different little small like effects and we can add another inner shadow, you know what I mean? So you see how just darken up the bag, make a lot of the, the sheen and the shine come off of the bag. So stuff like that. And even when we do that, you see how it help with it, with it. Remember when we cut off the bag down so, and it did look fuck up, you know what I mean? So now what we can do for correct that now is Use the pen tool and get a smooth little curve. And it, it will look like I say the bag just the, the hangle or the strap just a full. You know what I mean? So we'll try that and, and see it come out. So we go next selection, enter, cut. Alright, so we can just smooth out this up part a little bit. Just smooth it out. All right, make selection again, enter, and cut. Yeah. We don't want it perfect. We just want it as you know close as possible. So for the rest of the image, we already bring in we have the, the other Gucci duffel bag, which I kind of really don't want to use no more because kind of get one or fit 
more in with the team, I walk one, so do delete that one. I can't really need to use it. The lower bag now I go. Control and T. I'm pretty much do the same thing I'll just do. Kinda just smooth it out a little bit. Make it a little bit smaller, same way. Press enter, put it behind the Gucci bag and we'll move it over a little bit more. I want all of them kind of at the same spot. All right, click on it, blending options in a shadow same way. This time we don't scale by the inner shadow, we don't want it to, you know what I mean, dark on the bag. Press enter, bring in the supreme bag. I'll flip this first, so I'll go control and T. Rotate horizontal. And we'll drop it in a size a little bit. And make it a little bit bigger and we'll put it behind both of these. So the trick is or the challenge for me with this this about guys to get rid of the the goddamn the white in it and I'm even not sure if the inner shadow thing going to work with that one but we'll try it and see though move it over a little bit more cool so right click blending options in a shadow all right so I kind of just darken it up a little bit so I'm gonna do is let me see if we can instead of going with black with all sample the color from the bag itself and see if that will help make it smoother all right so it, it do help a little bit help we kind of tone down a little bit of the white or yeah a little bit of the white so if we go stroke and go outside turn it down a little bit outside stroke or actually let's go inside stroke and change the color from white to red notice how we kind of clean it up even a little bit more which is good so now i'll add a drop shadow just just a little bit of darkness behind it to make it seem as if you know what i mean it have a little bit of, of a shadow behind cool and we'll go back to the other two and we'll drop a drop shadow on them the same way i mean just get some dimension pretty much but no, that's done. So I'm gonna say I want to kinda incorporate money into them some type of way. So I'll just go through this picture. Yeah. See if we can find a nice PNG. So we have one here, so I'm not sure if it's a PNG though. Let's at least use that one or drag it and drop it. So this is not a PNG, right? Make this smaller a little bit. Let's put it behind all of them. Let's use the magic eraser again. Try and get rid of some of the white. All right. So cool. Let's try and do the drop shadow thing. Not drop shadow. Well, yeah, drop shadow and the inner shadow. No, want it as dark as that. Definitely want it a little bit dark. Then let's do the stroke. Inside stroke though. Let's bring back the pixels so it's small. And for this, I want to do a sample the red in the background itself. So it seems more as if it's a natural background. Coming together, coming together. So nice. So now I'm going to add the logo. So I'll go into overlay. Grab the logo. Make sure the logo is PNG or yeah, I forgot to do a lot of work to get it into 
Yeah, that work. Make this a little bit smaller. Cool. So in the corner. At the top, as far as the information, I'll put my producer name and my label name. So it's these. The reason why you can't see the text is because it's too big. So I'll make it smaller. Now you can see it. Yes, we're going to make it black as well. And then we'll change the font in a second. But for right now, we'll just all type out everything. So Trackstar Media Group. Yes. Press enter twice to start changing the font. We'll get some smoother. Enter, let's zoom in. Let's move this. And then let's make it a little bit bigger. I think about 32 would be perfectly fine. Not a little bit too big, so I'll try 28. Put it up closer to the top. I want it to be like a headline or that thing. Go right click on it, blending options. Or create a nice little drop shadow on it. See, so it get a little bit dark behind, but it's too dark or it's too big. So I'll create a second drop shadow and make that a little bit smaller. We don't want it as dark as that because it already have a little bit of darkness up there. And what we can do is you can push the, the drop shadow away from the words a little bit. We don't want it too far though, and then we can rotate it a little bit. So make it seem as if the light has shine from a certain direction. And once we're done with that, we have the header, we have the logo, we have the bug. It's time for the text for the track itself. So I'll just type duffel. And now we need to find a, a good font or a fit. What we are doing, so we'll put this to 80 as far as size. Zoom in again. And then let's continue to go through until we find a good font that we can use. Uh, like this, I'll put this about 120. It's a small fan, so we can make it a little bit bigger. I'll put bug. I'll change the word bug color to white. Then underneath it, we'll put rhythm. I'll drag that. But I'll also make the rhythm font smaller, so I'll go about 50. Probably about the same size as the, the word bug. So I might need to increase the size a little bit. So not even really have to increase the size, we can spread out the word. So I'll come over to the tab, I'll click on the A, and then click the text with the arrow, I'll go left to right, and spread the letter them. So I'll have a more inline thing with, with the word rhythm. I'll keep on spread it till it. Go out, so I'll try 150. No, not 1000, idiot. <laughs> 150. If I come across now, supposed to line up. All right, 150 now, I'll do it. So 146. It's a half a little bit, but me is kind of, it's a tedious, brother. I don't like when things work out right. So that's good. That's actually perfect. Let's. Grab the two of them and then move them like more centralize them. So line them up with the center. There we go. Then we're at rhythm. Control T and move it around. Stop here. So and then line it up back with the word. Ah, cool. 
I changed the color on the red rhythm. Actually, I'm going to do that. I'll just add a drop, an uh, inner shadow to it. Or you can even do like an overlay. You see how the, the gray are fading upon it. I kind of like that. So I'm going to do that. I want to do that to the word duffel bag too. So blending options. Let's go gradient overlay. So I change the word duffel from black to that. It's because it's overlaying over the entire top of the word. So let's see if we can find some more. Fit. Let me come out of this real quick. Zoom out. To be honest, I'm actually like, uh, look, I'm not going to even put the gradient on it. I'll leave it as it is. And I'm going to go and do a drop shadow door. I'm going to make this on a shadow a little bit big. Distance, I'll make it a little bit more away. Let's go back in there again. Let's go into this capacity, 100. Bring back the shadow a little bit. Distance, bring that back and then make the angle. And just do it so I can see. So if we push it away, like distance wise, if we kind of change the color of the font, we can see more of our going. So let's bring it back. And then let's make it bigger so it's spread out more so it's more of a shadow. I mean, then put the distance to 20 and then opacity, meaning how visible it is. I'll put that to 80%. Cause we kind of want, I'll actually drop it lower and I want it blend a little bit with the background. I don't want it just noticeable, you know what I mean? So we'll do that. If we zoom out, you know what I mean? That's pretty much it, like done deals just straight to the point. Nothing extra needed is just simply to the point. So hopefully you learn something, you know what I mean? Until next time, it's your boy SB is the track star. Peace.